Well, this is the third episode of the Clean Power Show, and our last one covering the Alternative Car Expo. Uh, but this is not the end. Uh, next week, we'll be um, visiting a solar house. Uh, in this video, we'll see three uh, new cars. Uh, one is um, natural gas powered, and the other two are electric. Uh, so in the meantime, enjoy the show. about these Auto Nano batteries. Um, is it all cracked up to be, and how do they compare with the regular lithium batteries? They're far superior. Because they've uh, been able to remove this graphite carbon component of a lithium ion battery and place it with the techno nanotechnology they developed, it suddenly eliminates all, all the problems that lithium ions have. This battery will not overheat. So we can charge it in 10 minutes, and it's not going to heat, expand, um, cause, explode. Like the explode. Because that, that, that is a huge concern, yeah. especially with an electric vehicle, when you, when you think about the fact that you're sitting on 28 battery yeah. cells. You don't want those exploding under you. Um, and the, this Altair Nano Nano Safe battery will not overheat. We can take this thing up to Alaska. We can take this thing to the Mojave Desert. And whether it's, it's hot, cold weather, this, the battery performance isn't going to change. The electricity, the charging is not going to change in performance. And so this, this battery is inherently safe. You have no worries about it. And because the graphite's not there and deteriorating uh, over time, the battery, these things will last five, six times longer. You'll get over a 12-year life uh, plus life on these batteries. So you don't have to think, I'm going to have to replace these in three, four years because they're just not performing anymore. They will maybe maintain the capacity a lot longer. Over 12 years and recharge in 10 minutes. Can recharge in 10 minutes. So as you can see, I mean, off your nano, it's just, it's a, it's a revolution. It's a true paradigm shift in battery technology because the, the problems you had before of thinking about how long it took to recharge, how fast you can go, the distance you can go, suddenly all that's eliminated. We're coming out with a, uh, an expansion pack, a 70 kilowatt hour pack late next year, which will increase the distance from 100 to 130 miles per, depending on your vehicle, up to 250 miles per charge. There's no battery vehicle that, that can go that far. You're yeah. just thinking of way too many batteries. And Altair Nano is making this all public, uh, publicly available to, you know, to us and eventually to basically everyone. Charge up the front. There's also a heat, or not heating, I don't know, 
a mobile charging unit that's like four pads that you drive on top of and you press a button, push a button and that charges. It takes anywhere from one to eight hours to charge depending on how much you depleted your battery. The zinc battery lasts 150 miles, so you probably charge it every night, you know, like when you go to bed, just charge it. They're coming out with four other models, a sedan, a SUV, a commuter vehicle. The commuter vehicle is going to be around the price range of $29,000. It's a little more pricey, but you know, the price will come down the more they produce. Removable hardtop, it doesn't store within the car. Zero to 60 in four, point, four to seven seconds. The top speed is about 80 miles an hour. It may go up because they're still patent pending on the dual motor drive system that's like two motors, so it's balanced and lighter. And it's the batteries are in the back, it's rear wheel drive. Uh, they say when it would be available. Um, available on July 12th. Well, production starts July 1st, so if you're a preferred buyer, if you're on the list, you'll get, I don't know how soon they'll be ready. It's kind of why they're taking orders so that they can start production and deliver, you know, to the ones that are preferred buyers first and the, after that. And, um, now, the other cars that you mentioned, the uh, Astra Car and SUV, uh, you said those would be around 2009. So I think she said about April or May to start looking for pictures of the other cars that they're coming out with. So keep the website and your favorites and check in. This is, this is the home fueling system, it is for home use. Um, what it does is it hooks directly to your, your natural gas line that goes into your water heater, and it's made for overnight use. It actually only puts in about a half a gasoline gallon equivalent per hour. But the tank of a Honda, you get 220 miles per tank full, um, a, a, approximately. So it's not you're not going to be driving 220 miles every night. So you're probably never filling a, a, a complete, uh, you know, the complete tank up all the way. So when you come in at night, it's made to plug it in, go to bed, wake up in the morning, and plug it. If you do that every night, you'd always have a full tank in the morning. The cost is. Um, Depending on where you live, location, uh, we have some of these uh, in an area in, in Orange County, and it's about a dollar twenty-three a gas and gallon equivalent to what we're paying for in Orange County. Like I said, it all depends on where you live and what your, your gas prices are at the time. Now, with the if enough people use this, natural gas shortages will go down, prices will go up. Well. They, what they do in the market is that they always say that natural gas is always going to be 50 cents, at least 50 cents less than regular fuel. That's the kind of, that's the kind of dividing line they're, they're making with the, the cost of natural gas. But like I said, if you get it for home, um, there, there's, there's a last report I heard. There's enough natural gas out there to last at least 50 to 100 years, and there's a lot. There's large deposits uh, locally, um, domestically, that we're not even tapping into because there's no need for them at the present time. So uh, natural gas is a domestic fuel. So we, you know, if 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 the um, if needed, there's areas where they can actually drill and get the natural gas uh, here locally. Domestic. Plus, the alternative sources like landfill gas and so on. And there, yeah, there, there, there's, you know, it's all methane. Uh -huh. uh, natural gas is 90% methane, but uh, yeah, there's, there's all different other types of alternative fuels that use different types of different approaches to methane. The cost of this car is about $25,000, um, and then there's a lot of tax credits given. If you buy the car, it's a $4,000 tax credit for buying the car. There's also a fuel tax that for every gallon of fuel you put into this vehicle, you get a 50 cents per gallon uh, tax credit also. So there's, there's a lot of incentives and tax credits going on right now that can bring the cost of the car down dramatically. Some of the dealers are taking that tax credit and, and using the tax credit themselves, but giving you the discount off the top of the car. And um, so it depends on what dealer you talk to. They'll, they'll actually give you that $4,000 or partial, whatever it is, off the price of the car uh, in lieu of the tax credit.
Now, if, I, if I'm was out on the road and I need to fill up, are there very many natural gas burning stations out there? there? There's approximately 30 in, in Southern California. Um, there's a lot you're probably not even aware of. I drive from Orange County to San Francisco about every few months. I drive to Vegas and to uh, Phoenix, Arizona in a natural gas car, and there's plenty of stations. You'll never have a problem getting fuel as long as you know where they are. You can go on the website. You can go on the uh, AQMD website, and they'll show you exactly where all the stations are. But there's there's quite a few of them, especially in L.A. and Orange County area. It's very, very low tailpipe emissions. It is the, is the cleanest running combustible engine today is, is the Honda CG.